Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Glor. British Prime Minister David Cameron did not mince words. In a nationally televised address today, he said his country must destroy ISIS. The speech came one day after ISIS released video of the execution of British aid worker David Haynes. The group says they're also holding another worker, Alan Henning. Two Americans have also been killed on camera by ISIS. We have two reports this evening. We begin with Charlie Daggett in London. British leaders raced to Downing Street this morning, summoned to an emergency meeting with Prime Minister David Cameron. He described as pure evil the beheading of David Haynes by ISIS militants. They boast of their brutality. They claim to do this in the name of Islam. That is nonsense. Islam is a religion of peace. They are not Muslims, they are monsters. This is Haynes in the Balkans, where he lived back in 2003. Uh, our office normally goes across to Belgrade. His family said he was devoted to helping people in trouble. And today, his brother Mike said the reach of ISIS extends far beyond the war zone. Radicalization remains the biggest threat to the wholesale safety of every person in the world. The prime minister praised the courage of David Haynes, calling him a British hero. And he vowed that Britain would hunt down those responsible and bring them to justice no matter how long it takes. Cameron said the UK has an iron determination to destroy ISIS, though he stopped short of authorizing British airstrikes. And Britain's hostage crisis is not over. Officials confirmed today that ISIS militants are holding another aid worker, Alan Henning, threatening that he will be executed too. As in the videos of U.S. journalists James Foley and Stephen Sotloff, the first British victim appears with the same executioner with an apparent British accent. People across this country will have been sickened by the fact that it could have been a British citizen, a British citizen who could have carried out this unspeakable act. It is the very opposite of everything our country stands for. The execution of a British citizen has piled pressure on the prime minister to get tougher on ISIS, including increased calls for Britain to join the U.S. in launching its own airstrikes. British aircraft have provided a support role for the U.S. military campaign, but that's about it. Jeff? Uh, Charlie, Prime Minister Cameron also has his hands full dealing with this upcoming vote for Scottish independence. H how does that matter complicate this one? Well, Jeff, the Scots have largely been opposed to airstrikes and the idea of the U.K. getting any more deeply involved in another conflict in the Middle East. That's besides the fact that the victim, David Haynes, is Scottish. Now, the vote is going to be close, and Cameron can't risk losing a single vote to independence. Charlie Daggett, thank you very much.